Is that the way of doing it that the whole internet tells you is completely wrong? Yes, it is. Welcome back to Deer Valley Homestead. My name is still Andy. <laughs> oh, good morning, buddy. Good morning. We have our duck area. This is going to get changed to more of a permanent fence. I hate this chicken wire. This area over here, you might see the orange paint on the floor, is going to become our new garden. We've got good weather. That is pretty much just clay. So we are only about, I don't know, 300 meters from the old clay mine or clay quarry. And that's what they built all of the roofs out of. They used to make tiles here. I wonder if I could make some plates. Who knows? Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but this is a 10 centimeter post. That was a 10 centimeter drill. This has been soaked in wood stain for seven days. It's a wood protection, a, you know, anti bug, anti fungus, anti rot, anti everything. Have a look. Okay, that way we're perfect. That'll do for me. What a surprise, Mrs. Chicken. I came to see what all the noise and mess is about. Let's have a look. Oh, I definitely didn't do that one as straight, did I? lucky that where we live I have a very cool bunch of neighbors and even luckier that one of them happens to be a plow enthusiast. This tractor that he's on is over 60 years old and is just an incredible piece of kit. Of course I would like to have my own, it's just too expensive. I'm 
unfortunately on this first attempt, the ground was still a little bit too wet. I was going to try and cut them all here and I've done that with the first one and it's just not as accurate as it should be it's not as accurate as I would like it so I'm going to cut the rest of them with the mitre saw down in the workshop and I'll just bring them down slot them on give them a quick paint and we'll call it done won't look quite as cool on camera but it will be a good job windy I apologize that's just how it is today today I'm going to cut the tops of all these posts to the right height uh, paint them put the top beams on put the fence on unfortunately I still can't finish this small piece here uh, my neighbor came and tried to plow the other day but it was just too wet so we have to wait a little bit longer but seeing as we still have two months before I need to plant anything, I think we're doing well. All 
All right, well, that is the last wood posts on the top for the garden side anyway. I still have to do the duck side. And of course, there's a little bit of tidying up to do, etc., etc. But I'm going to go for a break because I'm a bit tired. But I thought I would show you something else that happened this week. Stiga, what are you up to? Stiga is a mama for the second time. I don't think you're going to see anything, but there are some cute little babies in there somewhere. Now, given that they are only four days old, I think, I'm not going to stick my hands in there. It's just the wrong thing to do. Diablo here. Hello Diablo. Also, oh, also has herself a cute bunch of little babies in there somewhere. I see movement. So the ducks are going to have a new fence with a gate. And there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, I do want to be able to keep the ducks locked in sometimes. And number two, the chickens and guineas know that the ducks have nice food. So they spend as much of their time as they can stealing the duck's food. Everybody's very feisty today. Spring is here. Breeding has started. Eggs are being laid. And this lot are discussing who's going to be the father of the future generation. In my opinion, fencing is mostly just a test of patience. It's not that interesting. It's fiddly, slow. But, you want something nice? You gotta work hard. That's everything in life.
it is the day. Today I am going to finish this duck fence and garden fence. Left on the jobs list I have one small piece of fence, one gate and a second gate. It's a bit like the grapes, it's day five of the first day. Here is one of the many reasons I love my keys. Hey buddy. That's just beautiful. I need to make two more gates for the duck area. But I have run out of planks. But I have an idea. Hear me out here, okay? It's a little bit of a crazy theory. This is what I was gonna use, but I think you can see it's cracked all the way down. Disaster. This is what's left over, which is enough to make about 10% of a gate. But we have this. This pallet is what was left over when they delivered our new windows. And actually, the guy went to load it back on the truck and I was like, oh, you can leave it if you like. And he was like, yeah, of course, let's work for me. So, my question to you is, is it a pallet or is it actually two gates? I think I know the answer. If I had known that the pallet was put together with ring shanked nails, I would have gone and bought some wood.
Okay, so that is it. One window pallet equals one gate. I seem to be saying this a lot these days, but this might not be the proper way to do it. But it's my way. And it works for me, so that's how it goes. Ducks, it's your new house. Oh, I don't always. Okay. She's there. And she is. Got a couple of latches left to put on. And I need to have a big clean up. Because there is mess and bits of fence, wire, wood, stuff everywhere. Not quite sure what happened to the footage of me putting the latch on the gate but it's not on the memory card anymore and I'm the only person here so there's only one person to blame. My neighbours came back today and completed the ploughing and the rotivation of what is going to be the new garden. I really love how the fence turned out although I am mildly worried that it does make it look slightly like a petting zoo. That's all we have time for this week. As always Thank you very much for watching and we will catch you all next time.